In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes where you can put the option number here. You can add some title and the detailed text. Then I've added some shadow effect here. Then comes the option two with the different color combination, three and four. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code and if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. Uh, again, I have provided the QR code here. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any uh, dark color background. In this case, I have used this turquoise color. Then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle here this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white or you can just choose any other color of your choice i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d reduce the height and put it here exactly at the top give some a gap here and for this you can give any color again depending on your requirement so now i'm just going to duplicate this one this one i'm going to make it somewhat bring somewhat front and make it somewhat bigger also so here again i'm going to make it the second option press ctrl d a little bit smaller i'm going to put it here and this also i'm going to put it here and then one more i'm just going to make it somewhat big bring it to front and press ctrl d to duplicate and put it here like this now depending on the requirement you can just choose any color of your choice you can see here i'm just giving some different color combinations here all right so once this is done i'm going to give one background effect also here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle this much size shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape select the gradient fill here i'm going to delete two options or two stops first stop i'm going to choose the same color which i've used for the background okay maybe i'm going to use the same color the turquoise color and the other color i'm going to make it a black color all right now just change the direction the black should come at the top okay and the turquoise color select that one and make it fully transparent and this one also we can make a little transparent like this and put it here and send this to back all right if you want you can go to the effects soft edges and increase the softness here okay so this will reduce the size make it somewhat bigger doesn't matter if it goes outside of the area of the slide so let put like this press ctrl d to duplicate go to rotate and i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it here like this and this also send this to back so you can see here we have added some background effect like this again if you want you can add more darker here all right like that so once this is done what you can do is you can just put some options here go to insert text box and put 01 center align make it bold increase the size and put it in the center press ctrl d and i'm going to put it for all the options so this is option number two this is three and this is four for here also i want to give some shadow effect so i can select this one press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size you can see here i'm just reducing the size all right and i'm going to put it here like this and this one make it more darker all right and here if you want you can reduce the soft edges so it looks more darker here and put it like this press ctrl d to duplicate just add it on top of each option so that it looks like it's coming out from the slide itself all right so once this is done you can add some detailed text in the center equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one 
and unwanted text this is very long text i'm going to delete something and reduce the size okay you can further reduce it okay and then press ctrl d to duplicate add it for each option here and if you want you can add some icons also to it if you are using the latest version you can go to insert and you can click on the icons you can add the icons also and once this is done you can select these shapes by using the mouse you can see here you just highlight this will select all the objects of this particular option press ctrl g to group it then comes like this press ctrl g then comes the third one and the fourth one so now i'm just selecting one two three four close the format shape go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation you can make it uh, maybe uh, let's say stretch click ok and stretch make it from the bottom all right and it sh should happen after previous or on click so if i play it comes like this you can see here 